Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to another creation video. Season four is finally here, and I got the bill that's gonna carry me through the season. Legend is upon me, and I'm hopeful that it's upon you as well for all my three-star 40s out there. But listen, I want to tell you guys about my 99 overall two-way slashing playmaker. Yes! This feel like 2K20 vibes. I ain't even gonna lie. Two-way slash and playmaker on deck. I'm finna dunk on everything moving. Shoot over or under anybody I see. But let me tell you guys how I got this build, man. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to 2K, the devs, the people over at 2K, and the 2K Next Makers program. Now, let me give you guys a little bit more information on this because I know there's always speculation going on out there because all you guys hear is, hold on, he's shouting out 2K. He got a 99 overall build. Put two and two together for me. I got y'all, I'm gonna put, put, put y'all D. So listen, if you are a content creator, whether that be a streamer, whether that be a person that makes video content for 2K, and you want to be inside those meetings, inside those private chats, inside those Discord servers where you have a chance to talk to the marketing team, the PR team, the dev team, just social, like anybody that you want to talk to at 2K about whatever problems you have, the things that you do like about the game, the things you want to see from the game, this is the program that you guys want to get into. Now, I've been a part of the 2K Next Makers program since I believe 2K20, I believe. I believe it was 2K20 is when I signed up. And now they have so many different programs and opportunities. And it's not just 2K. It's, I'm sorry. It's not just NBA 2K. It's other iterations of games that 2K, the publisher, actually makes. So for all you WWE heads out there, all you Bioshock fiends out there, like 2K has the line to all of these different games. So definitely make sure you guys Google it. Check out the 2K Next Makers program. If you guys want to sign up, definitely sign up. But my build that I got today, 99 overall, all max badges. Big shout out to 2K because they gave me that build and... They gave me the VC. Yeah, that's right. They didn't just make my bill 99. They said they got the potential to be 99. Here go the VC to put it up. So this video may be the only video you've ever seen from a person going from 60 to 99 overall in one video. Let's get into it. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Before we get into the actual 60 to 99 overall, I actually want to show you guys the creation. So side by side, I will have the Imperial system versus the metric system. So for all those people out there that say, yo, iPod, I don't know how you made this build. I'm showing you guys how to make it in both systems, what the actual height, weight, the wingspan, everything is in the Imperial and metric system. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So as you guys can see, my player is 6'5", 175 pounds. The Imperial uh, part of that is there as well. Now, here we got the attributes, what the attributes are that I put up, how I made my build, as well as the finishing badges, the shooting badges, the playmaking badges, the defensive badges, and of course, the physicals. Now, you can put on whatever takeover you wanna put on your build, but this is how I made my build. And I know a lot of you guys love the way that I make my builds. You guys have fell in love with my two-way finisher. You guys have fell in love with my two-way stretch glass cleaner. You guys have fell in love with my versatile paint beast. And a lot of people that still play with the smaller guards fell in love with my 5'9 playmaking shot creator that can actually finish at the rim. Yes, dunk on people. So I'm glad that you guys enjoyed those four builds, but I'm now giving you guys my fifth build of NBA 2K22. So let's go ahead and get this sucker up from 60 to 99. Now I know what you're thinking. Yo, iPod, are you going to a funeral or something? No, I ain't going to no funeral. I am officially a member of the Men in Black. We go around every single park looking for intergalactic runs. I ride around on my hoverboard. I, I, I feel like I'm from the future. 
I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there. I'm from a whole nother galaxy, and I ain't talking about no opals. You understand me? But listen, I wanted to come inside my apartment, which is not the best apartment in the game, simply because this is a new build. But I wanted to tell you guys that I have everything. And just to show you guys that here, I am a 60 overall. If you guys notice at 60 overall, I already have all of my badge points. Like I told you guys. And if you guys look here, it's already a 99 maxed build. This build has not played one game in the NBA. Not one. Yeah, I made it to the NBA, but I didn't do anything. I didn't do any quests. I didn't do anything on this build. All right, but we're going to go ahead and get it up right here right now. And also, I can't change my takeover. I don't have any of these perks. As you guys notice, I haven't played Brickly at all. So my takeovers are going to stay, but I am going to go for the perk accelerator and I'll probably maybe even use a saboteur sometimes, but I got to do the Mountain Dew challenges on this build. Um, but check this out, man. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and put up every single attribute. Now, the best thing about this, guys, is that you will actually see how much VC it actually costs to get one build to 99 overall maxed in one purchase. I ain't gonna lie. I'm doing some next level things, man. This is, this is crazy. Uh, like I'm so scared to see how much VC it actually costs. Now I know what you guys are thinking, bro. You got 1.1 million VC. What you complaining about? I ain't complaining. <laughs> I know I got VC. I done did plenty of shopping sprees. I even made a YouTube video about a million dollars. Uh, I'm sorry, a million VC shopping spree, but it costs three hundred ninety one thousand six hundred and fifteen VC to max out just this build. Now, it may be different for many other builds, but for this build right here, it will cost a person almost four hundred thousand vc you know how much real money that costs and, and i'm not gonna lie to y'all i would in any other circumstance i would never want to have a 99 overall build already in my hands and i had to spend the vc for it i would rather get them to 80 85 and grind the rest of it out 90 on a rebirth maybe but man 99 is costly that is insane but hey 99 we are you feel me now i know what you guys are thinking you're probably looking at the bill you're like yo ipod i could have did this with this and this with that with this build and i'm telling you it would have been crazy listen I like my build and I'm gonna show you guys why I like my build. If you guys notice, I have seven badge upgrades. I hit level 43 times and I still got the 40 from college, but I'm not gonna add those just yet. I'm actually gonna just go here real quick. You know what I mean? Let me see. We're gonna go with Limitless. We're gonna go Slithery. We're gonna go Posterizer. Uh, We're gonna go, let's see, Mouse in the House for sure. And that's all we really need. We don't need unstrippable. We don't need Lob City Finisher. I don't need Grace Under Pressure and all that. The only time I would need this is if I would go to the paint on a 3v3 in the park and pump fake. That's the only time you really need fast twitch or anything else like that. You don't really need those badges. This build is for finishing on smaller players. If you're a mouse in a house, I'm 6'5", you're 6'1", you're getting dunked on. And guess what? You're getting drugged. You feel me? You're getting drugged from the foul line for a, for a nice little takeoff dunk. I'm just going ahead and put that out there. Now, as far as my shooting badges, I'm going to tell y'all right now, man. Y'all already, already know what badges are the ones, man. Y'all already know, bro. I don't even know why we even got to have this talk, man. So peep this right now. A lot of people, they like high zone hunter. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cool person about that. Dead eye, I could do that. And maybe I'll do catch and shoot. I think that's, that's all I really need. Actually, you know what? Instead of catch and shoot, because I believe in my jump shot so much, I'm going with lucky seven because on fast breaks down, down the court or L1 R1 in that rec center, I'm shooting that pill as soon as I catch it. If somebody on me, yeah, I pass it. I might throw the lob on the trailer, but for the most part, I'm shooting that pill. You know what I'm saying? And also, don't forget, I got those seven badge points. Now, as far as bailout go, bailout, I'm going to put that on bronze. Bullet passer, 
always going to go gold. Always. I'm putting that quick chain up, putting that quick first step up, putting that stop and go up, putting that unpluckable up, definitely putting that tight handles up and handles for days will need three. So you know what that means, right? I'm going to go for handles for days right now. Check this out. One badge point. That's all. That's all I need. You know what I'm saying? That's all I need. One badge point from that. And then I got my handles for days on gold. And I will also get probably needle threader and I'll probably get glue hands. So most of my badges that I get will be for playmaking. OK, now for defense, this is super easy, man. Interceptor Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying hustler. I really only need that on bronze um, chase down. I might put that on just simply because I can and rim protector as well. Intimidator on silver. I really don't need clamps, but clamps would be good to have. But ball stripper, ball stripper, something you really need. You really don't need pickpocket until they until they tweak uh, on ball steals again. You really don't need it. Pick Dodger is really not needed when you're running zone at all. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to go clamps. You know what I'm saying? Then the last one that I need, I probably might go, let's go Menace. Menace might be the move. And that right there is my badges. Now, the extra seven that I have, I will actually critique my build and make sure that I'm putting up the right things. Now, I could go, let's see. Glue hands, um, it's going to cost me three handles for days is going to cost me two. That makes five. If I go heavy and shooting and I go green machine, which I really don't need, or I go catch and shoot and corner specialist on bronze, maybe, or I could go limitless spot up and go for those extra five out of that. It's a lot of different options. I don't need any finishing and I don't need any defensive. I can move defensive badges around the way I want because I really won't need clamps inside of a, a two, three zone like that anyway. But I think I think I'm doing pretty good with this, man. So what do you guys think about the build? Let let me know inside the comment section if, if this build is a W or if this build is a L. And I will take your advice and your comments into consideration. <laughs> My builds always a w i know that there are a lot of people out there that play the meta of nba 2k22 and they feel like if they don't play the meta they're not going to win games and you might be thinking oh this is just another meta build it's a secondary ball handler it's just somebody to sit at the hash or sit in a corner depending on if you're at the park or in the wreck but this build is actually for me to sit back, relax, and have fun and just do weird things like go on a fast break and try to dunk on people, sit up in a corner on a fast break, shoot the three, do moving shots to the corner. Like this build is for me to have more fun because I've been playing the meta since the game actually came out. Before the 6'9 glitchy build was out, I was already on the two-way stretch glass cleaner at 6'9, moving faster than regular power forwards, moving faster than bigs at the park. I was already doing that. Then when people said, oh, the 7'3 meta is out now, I made a 7'1 versatile paint beast. I don't need to shoot threes. I shoot the midi. I set the screen. You think I'm rolling? I stop. Both of you guys follow him. He hit me. I hit the midi. Or I can work in the post. Or I can work from the fade. Or I can work deep in the paint. Crazy, right? Then I ended up making a playmaker shot creator, 5'9 build, Steezo. He was going crazy with, with all these build creations. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and see what's up with that build. He made his 5'10. I made mine's 5'9. So I had fun with that build. Then I made the two-way finisher, 99 driving dunk. His, his, his offense wasn't too crazy with the dribbling, but he could shoot, he could finish, and he could defend crazy. I was in them passing lanes, stupid. But now it's time for me to... Stay up top on a two, three, not have to fall back in a corner, hide me on defense in a wreck and actually play on ball at the park. Or if there needs to be a switch, I could play a little bit of paint defense until my bed comes over. There are many different options I have for my builds. And that's why I love being in the builder. They call me a build bandit. Like I'm always in a builder looking for new ways to, to tweak my builds and stuff like that, because there are certain badges that you need to make some of these builds OP. And I just get a little bit of 
everything because that's how good I am at creating builds. So I hope you guys, if you do create this build, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in season four. I hope you guys watch my last video. I got the racing suit, the racing helmet and the belt. So I did all of my season three challenges and I hit level 40 and uh, I'll be hitting legend real soon. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Appreciate all the love in the comments. Appreciate all the new subscribers, and I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace. You better be iPod, you better be shake. Run with Jay Z and Bruce, or get baked. Right after the loss, your team got away. You can't step foot in my park. You better be iPod, you better be shake. Run with Jay Z and Bruce, or get baked. Right after the loss, your team.